Oh, my God. But no, what I love about what we do with our show, you guys, is all about putting out the positive and, and, and expressing that we can come together and laugh. You know, like I always talk about this. You know, I'm originally Muslim, but I have friends from all religions, all ethnicities. And I've told them, man, you're celebrating in your religion. Let me know. I'm coming. I'm celebrating with you. And I've done it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, man. I have... I have Christian friends and Baha'i friends and Jewish friends, all of them. I celebrate. And my Jewish friend one time actually invited me over for Shabbat dinner one time, Friday night. Yes, I went. I had. It was a great time. Gave me a matzo ball. I ate it. It was delicious. It was. Gave me a yarmulke. I put it on. It was cool. Yeah, but it was weird because as soon as I put on the yarmulke, I started coming up with business ideas. <laughs> increased by 20 points. My bank account doubled. It was strange. No, actually, I did come up with business ideas. So I put on the yarmulke and I'm bald. It started sliding. I was like, dude, you need like a Velcro yarmulke. And he's like, we can't do that. I go, okay, how about a suction cup yarmulke? That's a brilliant idea. Just lick it and have a nagila. No, man, it is. It's cool, though. You know, but like, and the thing that, that frustrates me is when I see us on TV nowadays, who do they always show? They always show the crazy dude burning the American flag going, Death to America! Always that guy. Just once, I wish they would show us doing something good, man. Right? Just once, right? Yeah, man. Right? Show us so doing something good, like, you know, like baking a cookie or something, right? Because I've been to Iran, we have cookies. Just once, I want CNN to be like, now nah, we're going to go to Mohammed in Iran. They go to some guys like, hello, I'm Mohammed. And I'm just baking a cookie. I swear to God, no bombs, no flags, nothing. Back to you, Bob. Do the whole news piece. They're never going to do that. Even if they ever did that, they followed up with another news piece. They'd be like, this just in, a cookie bomb just exploded. <laughs> Mohammed, you sneaky Parajan. Always, we get the bad end. Like in the World Cup, you guys watch the World Cup? You saw the World Cup, right? Right? You, the famous headbutt, you saw the headbutt, right? And it was the French dude, Zinedine Zidane, and the Italian dude, Matarazzi, and they were, it looked peaceful, it looked peaceful, and they were walking back, and Matarazzi grabbed Zidane's jersey, you know, and Zidane turned to him and was like, you can have it after the game, you know, like to say like, oh, you are gay, let's go, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, and the Italian guy was like, hey, I'd rather bang your sister. That's what he said. Yeah, and Zidane was like, you don't talk about my sister I'm like that, you know? And he went over and he headbutted him, boom, right in the chest, and the Italian guy was like, ow, that hurt, and he went down, yeah. But what I observed as a Middle Easterner, I watched the French reaction, and before the whole thing, the French loved Zidane. They were like, we love Zinedine Zidane. Zinedine Zidane is one of us, he's a French champion. We love him. He is the best Zinedine Zidane, we call him Zizou, he is the champ. We love him. After the headbutt, they're like, this fucking guy is Algerian. <laughs> he's, he's Muslim, we should have known it all along. They're crazy. We get the bad rap, man. You know who's doing well and breaking stereotypes, mainstream media, and I'm proud of them, are Asians. Breaking stereotypes, mainstream media. This is how I figured this one out. I was watching, there was a car commercial for Mercedes-Benz, and the drivers of the car in the commercial were Asian. Yeah, how crazy is that? Right, because the stereotype, the stereotype is Asians can't drive. That's the stereotype, right? But Mercedes was like, no, they can drive. They will drive, they'll drive our cars. Right, and I mean, if you want to read between the lines, you could say Mercedes was making a racist statement, you know? You could say Mercedes was saying, hey, we're a safe car. <laughs> so safe, even Asians can drive it. Maybe. But at least there's Asians in commercials breaking stereotypes, right? Middle Easterners aren't breaking stereotypes, not in commercials, right? You never turn on the TV, see like a United Airlines commercial with a Middle Eastern pilot. Right? You never see me stand there go like, come fly the friendly skies. I dare you. <laughs> and here's my thing too, people are cool, man. People are cool, politicians mess it up. Politicians put us all against each other, man. I don't like any of them, ours, theirs, none of them. Like Bush, I can't believe he's the president. Even if you voted for him, you gotta admit, you gotta admit, every time he's on TV, he just doesn't look presidential. He does, every time Bush is on TV, I'm watching, I'm like, he's not the president. Someone's pulling our legs, someone's messing with us. Every time I see Bush on TV, I'm waiting for Ashton Kutcher to run out. Be like, you've all been punked. <laughs> right? Osama comes running out of a cave. He's like, I was in on it too. <laughs> right? 
makes sense. Osama has been hiding for six years. Think about it, that's a good hider, people. That guy's a great, like, I can't hide for more than six minutes. This guy's doing it for six years. Osama's like the Michael Jordan of hiders. Think about it, I bet you coming out of high school he was voted most likely to hide. Right? Like, I bet you as a kid, whenever he was gonna play hide and seek, the other kids were pissed because he knew the game was gonna take forever. Right? They'd be like, what, you let Osama play? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> the game's gonna take six years, you know. Okay, fine, go hide, I'll count, asshole. <laughs> One, two, we're gonna miss our high school graduation. Three, four, he's so tall, how does he do it? Five, six, he's just gonna hide in a cave again. Seven, eight, and put out the videotapes. Osama, actually, I heard recently, he had a magazine, he put out a magazine called uh, Jihad Magazine. He did, he did, and like what, I'm like, what kind of articles are in that? Like, what, like, you know, what is it, like 50 ways to lose weight? Number one, blow yourself up. <laughs> like, Mustafa lost 200 pounds in one second. <laughs> Iran, politicians of Iran are talking shit to America. Why, why would you talk shit to America? America has recently bombed your neighbors. America's bombed Iraq and Afghanistan. Iran is in the middle. It's a good time to be quiet. Right? 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 It's like, it's like being in a nightclub and the bouncer has knocked out your friends and you're still talking shit, right? Come on. <laughs> I'll tell you why Iran is talking shit. There's a lot of opium usage in Iran. Yes, the politicians are high. You have to be high to talk shit to America. Because opium is supposed to mellow you out, but I think it also makes you delusional. I do, I think they're getting high and they're going, hey, you know what we should do? Let's call America. <laughs> give me the phone, give me the phone, give me the phone, give me the phone. Let me talk, let me talk, let me, I feel good, let me talk, let me talk. Let me talk. Hello, America. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Kick your ass. And then they hang up and they go, hey guys, do we have a military? <laughs> oh, we don't, oh, America, just kidding. <laughs> I am Persian, meow. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, the president of Iran is like, did I drunk dial Bush again last night? <laughs> oh, stop drunk dialing Bush. <laughs> That's the beauty of this country, guys. We can have these debates, we can talk about this, that we should be critical of government, of politicians. You should be, and that's the beauty of this country. And that's why we have to have these open debates. Like, I couldn't be making fun of the president of Iran in Iran, right? You'd be like, hey, Maz, that was a good show. When's your next show? I'd be like, there are no more shows. <laughs> the Ministry of No Show showed up. <laughs> My next show will be in prison. I'll be performing like this. You know, I did this one joke. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> They didn't like it. <laughs> I was expressing myself one night at a comedy club and talking about peace, and this one guy disagreed with me, and he starts going, boo! And I go, you're booing peace? He goes, yeah. And I go, you're an idiot. He goes, you're an idiot. I go, I'm gonna kick your ass. He goes, I'm gonna kick your ass. And I started losing control, and I was like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I started talking about peace, and I'm losing myself? What's going on? And I had to stop and think, did my, like, heroes of peace ever lose it? Did Martin Luther King Jr. ever just lose it? Did Gandhi ever lose it, right? Did anyone ever say something to Gandhi where he's like, all right, that's it, the loincloth is coming off. Let's go. Hold on to these sandals while I kick his ass. Let's go. Come on. Oh my God, I can't fight. You're lucky I only had two grains of rice today. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Indian, I actually, I got married to an Indian woman uh, a year ago. Beautiful, beautiful Indian woman. I have to clarify, because people go, oh, Indian like, or Indian like, you know, and I always, I always gotta say, no, not casino Indian, computer Indian, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, yes. I marry tech support, that's right. That's right. Anytime I got a computer problem, like, honey, Windows XP isn't working, she's like, I will take care of it, you know, and she does. She does. No, she doesn't talk like that, she grew up here. But that's a fun accent to do. Anytime you feel sad, just go, ha da 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 it'll cheer you up. I swear to God. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys with this real quickly. I'm gonna leave you with this. 
Please, I always say this, please stop blaming Middle Easterners for everything, okay? And I always say it's not always us, right? It is not always us, okay? I mean, quite often it is, but not always. We get blamed for everything. Whatever happened, like there was a blackout in New York a few years ago, the news came on, they're like, there's been a blackout, terrorists might have been involved. And then a week later, they're like, oops, sorry, just Enron, right? Like there's, there's a traffic jam on the five, terrorists might be involved. Oops, sorry, just cars, you know? It's like, and it started with the anthrax. Remember the anthrax they tried to blame on us? I knew that wasn't a Middle Easterner. That's not how the Middle Easterners work, right? Middle Easterners be like, what? Do you want me to put the anthrax in the envelope, put the stamp on the envelope and mail it? No, 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 no. That is not how I do it. No, no. Can I wrap the anthrax around myself if I run into somebody? That is how I do it. You know, one, two, bang, like that. You know what I'm saying? I can get two people. One, two, that's it. Anymore, I hurt my back. One, two, ow, it hurts. I've been in a cave for six years with Osama, I'm old. We all know who did the anthrax. It was some hillbilly dude. You know some redneck was like, right about now is a good time to send out some anthrax. Blame the goddamn Arabs, that's what I'll do. Blame them goddamn kebab eating, Mercedes Benz driving, camel riding, 7-Eleven owning, Serpy selling, gas price raising, Unibra connected, hairy chested motherfuckers. <laughs> right? What? <laughs> You know it was, and they have not caught him yet. I hope they catch that guy eventually, because that'll make everyone realize we got haters of all kinds, you guys. White, black, Asian, Middle Eastern, Latin, all kinds of haters. And what we have to do as a people is counter the hate with some love, right? Yes. Spread the love, man. Right? I mean, they were going around, they were putting anthrax in the mail, they were putting anthrax in the water. Hey, man, you want to put something in my water? Put some ecstasy in my water. That's the kind of terrorist I'm looking for. Right? I drink the water, I'm like this.